Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. I'm going to get right into it. I felt compelled and led by the Holy Spirit to do this video with my brother. You should know him by now, Klaus. Um, follow him on Digital Disciple Ministries. But let me tell you something. I've been, God's been opening doors and I've been feeling real empty and drained. And, and sometimes you kind of feel isolated and you kind of feel like, man, maybe I don't really have nobody I can talk to or whatever it is. And so we went to the service today and the pastor was definitely flowing in the Holy Spirit. He spoke about power. Uh, shout out to Pastor Jared Arango of the Peninsula Pentecostals. Uh, we're really, he poured into us and we just want to share it with you because that's what it's all about. And I'm just going to follow what I feel in the spirit, man. Uh, you know, look at Samson. All right. The lion had to come to Samson for the power to be revealed that was inside of Samson. You know, there's things that got to happen sometimes in your life and it doesn't feel good and it's not pretty. Sometimes the storm has to come just to show you that he will be peace in your storm, just to show you that you can survive the storm. Sometimes there's things in your life that happen that hurts and it doesn't feel good. And the reason why God allows it to happen is to show you that you have power. You didn't know that you could make it. You didn't know that you could take it, but through the power that we have that acts 1 8 acts 2 38 holy ghost power, power you can overcome let me tell you it's something about the power of god that when you get exposed to his presence when you get exposed to his word man it does something to you you can be empty and it will fill you up you can be depressed and it will encourage you you can feel like giving up and it'll give you some fighting power that is the power that we have through jesus christ my brothers and sisters i want to encourage you today that you need to know that you have power. You need to know that you are part of the kingdom of God and God's kingdom is more powerful than the kingdoms of this earth. So anything that attacks you in this earth, you are a citizen of the strongest, most powerful, most high God. Check this out. I was getting a phone call. They want to hear about this power. They said they couldn't wait till the video was over. <laughs> Check this out, though. But we have power in the Holy Ghost. Wow. And sometimes you feel like things are coming against you and draining you. Tap into the power. The pastor said it so beautifully, and it might sound so simple, but a lot of us don't do it. Wow. You go into a building, and there's lights everywhere. There's speakers everywhere. But if you don't flip the switch, if you don't get plugged in, you can't access the power. God is waiting for some of you to flip the switch and get plugged in. Yeah, power. Sometimes, and I know in my experience, um, I've experienced the power of God unexpectedly and suddenly. And again, this ties back into what my pastor was preaching and it just hit home. There, there's some times that I, I've been stretched to my limit I've been stretched to my capacity. I've been brought to the limit of the flesh, to the limit of my own ability, to the limit of my own ingenuity, what I was able to do. And suddenly the power of God was <laughs> present. Suddenly. I don't know how to suddenly. explain other than the power of God picked up where I was short and allowed me to do what I was trying to do that I didn't have the strength or the power to do on my own. The scripture says that we are baptized with power. That word baptized, it means to be immersed, to, to be dunked in. It's literally like wow. we're swimming in power. Wow. We're swimming in the power of God when we get baptized with the Holy Ghost. When we get baptized in the Spirit of God, there is power, more than enough power. There's so much power that we can draw on that if we only understood, and I'm, I'm even preaching to myself, I need power mm. daily. I want to pray, God, let me operate in your power. Let your power animate my life. Let it enable my being to do everything that I was called to do. Because we're not, we're not able or capable to do what God has shown us or asked us to do without his power. Yes. Jesus said in John chapter 15, without me. You can do nothing. nothing. We can't do nothing without the power of God. We got to be plugged in. We have to be immersed. We've got to be fully surrounded and enveloped by the power of God. Something beyond our own ability to draw on. That power is available to you. Jesus died to make that power available. Jesus mm. shed his blood so that that power can be accessed by every one of us that call ourselves believers.
John 1 12 he said as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even them that believe on his name. We need power to be transformed. We need power to become. We need power to move and flow in everything that God has for us. Mm. Power. So many, so many people going to church, broken, defeated, no power. Now, like I said, even I get empty sometimes. But it's something about God that it's like I was running. And I felt like quitting, but then that power hits you and you can just keep on going a little bit longer. You know, sometimes it's not in your own strength. You got to forgive some people. My you got to love some people. You got to deal with some people. Yeah. You got to deal with some situations. You say, man, this thing is too big for me. But that's exactly why you've been equipped with power. And some of you got to realize, man, like you, you're sitting there struggling. You're sitting there stressed out because you haven't realized the power and authority that you have. You've got devils acting up in your life you've got generational curses breaking out in your right. life and god has given you power and authority over that but it's up to you to believe it and walk in faith see if you don't believe that you have power you're never going to step out and walk on water if you don't believe you have power you're never going to step out and slay goliath if you don't believe you have power you're going to bow down when they threaten to throw you in the fire if right. you don't believe you have power man you ain't going to waste your time walking around the walls of jericho you're going to be the one, one of the ones like uh when joshua and caleb went to scout the promised land they say it's too big we can't do it we don't we can't overcome but the bible power. says caleb was of a different spirit right. and god has given you a different spirit see there's spirits in the world but you've got this holy ghost holy, holy ghost. spirit power where you can look at a situation and say you know what i understand why you would feel that way i understand why you would look and say my situation is hopeless i understand why you would write me off i understand why you would give uh give up on me but i got a different spirit oh, and this man. spirit it gives me power, power, power to overcome, power to have Absolutely. a good attitude, yeah. power to forgive people, power to keep going when I feel like quitting, power to put these hands up in the spirit Ooh, and fight yes. and trade blows with the devil. You might have yeah. hit me. You might have drew a little bit blood, but God gives me power that power. in my weakness, yeah. his strength is made perfect. Yeah. You got power, my brothers yeah. and sisters. Man. This this reminds me of a very recent struggle at my job. Mm. Perfect demonstration of how the power of God came on me. Now, um, during that several weeks ago, even into the past couple of days, I've been under immense pressure. Just pressure and this feeling of overwhelmedness. And it, it, it's been draining me, giving out and ministering, giving out, pouring out. I didn't realize how it was draining me. I didn't realize how much power and virtue was flowing through me and almost not enough for me to maintain my walk. Mm. And uh, so I was at work, right? And it's almost time for me to go and I get a last minute call. My supervisor asks me to do something. I'm already uh, pressed and stressed. I gotta go. I got stuff to do at home, school stuff. Now I'm in here. I gotta do this last project and it's not working. What was I doing? I was taping up a soap bar in the shower and I couldn't glue it up there for no reason. I was trying to tape it up there. It would fall. I was trying to use mm. more tape. It would fall. I used duct tape. I used Gorilla Glue. I used everything at my disposal to try to do it. And I was on the verge. I was hot. I'm going to just be transparent. <laughs> I was mad. I, and the more that the little soap bar would fall, the more attempts I made, the more that I failed, the more angry I got. And I could feel it rising up in me. I'm like, yo, I'm about to just leave, yo. I'm about to just walk out. I'm about to just say, I can't fix this. I need. I don't have the tools that I need. That's another thing that made me mad. Mm. They didn't give me what I needed. But, and I walked away. I walked away shaking my head, just mad, yo. And I said, man, I said, I'm done. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm already beyond my time. I'm late. I got to go. And as I walked away, my God, something came out of nowhere <laughs> yeah. from somewhere in yeah. me. And I turned back around and I said, no, I said, Jesus, I'm going to finish this. I said, I'm not going to act like this. I'm not going to harbor this attitude. And I went back and I kept dealing with it. Eventually, my boss came up and he finished it with me. He was struggling too, by the way. Let me throw that in there. <laughs> but anyway, that's something that enabled me where my limit, where I reached my limit. That was the power of God. Had I not had power. I'd have walked off the job mad and irritated 
and probably still mad and irritated that I allowed myself to be carried. But the power of God that came on me Hallelujah. and helped me. Jesus said that he would send the helper for moments like that when I needed something beyond my own power and ability. God was there and helped me and I recognized this is beyond me and it threw me into a tantrum of worship to give God glory and to say thank you Jesus. You gave me power and that's what you have. I want to encourage you. Marcus wants to encourage you Tap into the power that's available to you. Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost comes on you. And ye shall be a witness. I was a witness when I didn't leave the job. I was a witness of, of the endurance and perseverance. And making it through the trial. My God, power. See, what he just said is the key thing. And we're about to end the video. But I want to end it with this right here. You're a witness to the power and the reality that, that God's power is alive yes. and well in you. It's like a, a testimony. So check this out. This is what I feel led to say to you. God brings you to certain places and instead of you getting depressed about it and say, oh, why is this happening to me? You got to think about it from a kingdom perspective. If right. you're a child of God and you know that God says, I am the author and finisher of faith, I will finish what I started in you. Nothing that happens in your life is a surprise to God. So just like I said with Samson, when that lion came along or Goliath came along, when those situations happen in your life, God is saying, look, watch this. I wanted, I wanted you to feel like you couldn't overcome this by yourself because I want you to know it's me in you. Ooh. I put a situation in front yeah. of you that was too big for you so you can sit there and say, God, I can't do this. You don't get me out. I can't forgive this person. <laughs> I can't overcome this. I can't beat this thing. I need something more to overcome. And that's what it's all about. Stop complaining when you come to a test and a trial and a situation that's too big for you. That's the whole point. You know why people in the church don't see the great power of God? Because you Yo. ducking and dodging the giants. Ooh, you see the giant and you on, ducking bro. and dodging because you know, you say, man, oh, that, that's too big for me. That's right. too hard for me. Right. I don't want to deal with all that. But God wants you to confront it, have the faith to confront it. And he says, I'm going to put something in you. That's why David walked up the Goliath the way that he did. It wasn't about him being nice with the slingshot. It was about, I know that I got power. Yeah. I know that there's a force that is backing me. Yeah. Some of you need to stop ducking and dodging the giants. Stop complaining and blaming the devil. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit led Jesus to the wilderness to be tested. Drove. All things are working for your good. So if you come to something that's too big for you, it's because it's God wants to reveal his power in you. Yeah. See, the test and the trial activates the power. The storm activates the power. Yeah. The giant activates that fight. The lion activates that fight. Yeah. You're, mm, hey, 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 look, <laughs> let me, I just, this just came to me. Mm, mm, so mm. the storm, the fire, the problem, the situation that's bigger than you, too much for you, overwhelming you, stressing you, pressing you, whatever the case, that is nothing more than a canvas for God to paint his power all over your mm. life. Come and on, when child. people look at what Ooh. God is doing, when they look at the canvas and they mm. see that ain't them, I don't know what's going on, but there, I see something bigger than them. <laughs> I see something greater. Than, I know so-and-so. I know they don't have the ability to do that. Yep. I've seen them in that place before. What happened now? I see a picture mm. of something greater than so-and-so. Power. power. Let your problems and your situation become a canvas for God to paint his power all over your life and let it be a signature power. And so the mm. whole the whole point is the Lord will allow you to go through tests and tests and tests until you learn to trust the power. That's yeah. what it's all about. It gets to the point where you're not intimidated by a devil. You're not intimidated by a problem because you trust the power. It's not, oh, I went to church and I sung about the power and I got emotional. No, when it's time, when the press is on, it's explosive. I know there's some power. When I when I feel that weight on me, and you know, we always talk about building the faith muscles. You know why you don't got no power, no faith muscles? Because you ain't never you 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 feel the little bit of weight and then you run from it. You feel the little bit of pressure and you don't even try to fight back. Oh well, you know what, devil, you got it. You got it. You won. 
I give up here. Take my joy. Right. Take take oh, my man. peace. Take take my take my mind. Take just take it. Take you my got. blessing. Just just leave me alone. You can have you can have my family. You can have my marriage. You can have my calling. You can have my. You know what? I I, I like he said he was trying to put that thing up and it kept falling down. That's what the that's what the enemy doing in your life and God is allowing it. That's the crazy thing because the enemy had to get permission from God to mess with Job. God is allowing the enemy to mess with you and poke with you and things keep falling down in your life just like and you can get frustrated with it you can get angry you can say you know what devil you got it or you can say you know what I might not feel powerful right now I sure didn't feel powerful. but I know that I'm gonna swing on you in faith and when I swing in faith God's gonna smile when he sees that swing yeah. and there's gonna be some power that comes behind it and boom, mm, back you up but you Got to make up your mind to swing. You got to make up your mind to swing. Well, you said, Marcus, what are you talking about? How do you swing? You swing by doing what the word of God says. Look, the word has asked me to do this. Yeah. I don't necessarily feel like it, but I'm going to mm, stay in the fight and I'm going to swing. And if you keep swinging, man, God's going to smile. Like, just imagine this. Imagine you're in a boxing fight and you're swinging and you've been getting your butt kicked the whole fight. But you're just still believing that one of these is going to connect and I'm going to be victorious. Right. The more that you swing, God is smiling because the faith activates the power. Right. And he says, you keep on swinging. I'm going to put some power behind it and you're going to knock that thing out. Right. You're going to see it's just like the walls of Jericho. Keep on walking around and then that power is going to come. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> power. Power. I don't know where I would be without the power. Mm. Products of power product of power. I'm a product of power. God's mm. power. Wouldn't even be saved, bro. Probably still be in the club. Still be in low self-esteem. Still Bruh, doing all kinds of wild I stuff. I would be either in prison, because that's where I was headed, dead, or in a nut house. Those are the only options. That's That was what the enemy had planned for me. Mm. And he had no problem showing me very vividly and lying to me, this is where you're going. You're going to be homeless. You're going to end up in prison. And I would see it. Videos of my life played out of me behind bars for the rest of my life. Or me in the grave and watching my loved ones suffer. Or me in a mental hospital, just gone. Never to come back. But power. God's power. And that's the power of God because you wouldn't, looking at him, you wouldn't even know. Some of you looking, you wouldn't even know how, how, uh, two pockets she used to be <laughs> how gangster you used to be you would never know and that's the power of god to transform your whole life you, you could go through hell but come come out smelling like heaven Amen. you can't you can't even can't even tell that i was in the in the fire i don't look like what i've been through my god i like that <laughs> you don't look like what you've been through and i've been through some stuff <laughs> <laughs> Sound off. oh man <laughs> That's not my anointing to sing, you know what I'm saying? I stick to the <laughs> But we do but, it anyway. Yeah, I do it anyway. I'll be, I be singing to God when I'm by myself. Make a joyful I'll be noise. Singing it. A joyful noise. <laughs> not sound, it didn't say a good sound, a joyful noise. Listen, if Jesus said the rocks and cry out, then why not me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Faith, again, empowered. I'm telling you. I'm being real with you guys. I'll be in my, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore. Now, see, look, y'all start logging off real quick. Oh, man. <laughs> they said, oh, this, oh, this ain't man. your field, bro. <laughs> hey, man, this is my brother, man. Go support his page. I always tag uh, Klaus Chavis, but go support Digital Disciple Ministries. You're going to see. We're going to do some big things uh, in 2019. Not because we're good, not because we're better than anybody else, because best believe the best part of me and him is Jesus Christ. Absolutely. That's literally, I, I'm telling you, that's all I got going for me. If I didn't have Jesus in my life right now, man, what a sad picture. What a sad picture, man. You guys get plugged in, get plugged in, get plugged into the power, tap into the power. The, the, the blueprint for tapping into the power is found in the word of God. All right, Indeed. it's your choice. You got free will. Make that choice. Mm -hmm. We're about to go get some power for our human bodies and eat some food. Amen. <laughs> Love you guys. Y'all be blessed. Be encouraged. Go follow his Peace. page.